It is the 16th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start with the extinction protocol tonight. SOT.net is just about the same. Uh, they're covering a little bit more. A quake in Haiti swarms the Virginia Islands, Puerto Rico. Tensions mount on the Caribbean plate. Uh, so we have a definitely gear up on the seismic activity in the Caribbean. And you got to remember they're right there on a, on a big plate as well. Uh, crackdown ensues on Occupy movements across the United States. And uh, apparently one judge said uh, they... They can't kick them out, so it continues. They're just ramping up the drama on this. It's a great big diversion, isn't it? Magma plume. Italy's Mount Etna erupts for the 18th time this year. And, uh, yeah, sounds about right. Uh, Etna's been intensified its activity today with fountains of lava and ash causing restrictions to air traffic. Uh, this 18th eruption of the year has followed uh, the Stromboli pattern as previous ones did the last couple of hours. The crisis unit at the Cantina uh, Airport meant to access potential consequences for flights and restricted airspace until 1630, without, however, affecting passenger flights. South Dakota, shaken by double seismic tremors. Um, we had a 3.7 and a 3.3. We have another mass stranding of whales in uh, the southern hem hemisphere, this time in New, in New Zealand. 32 pilot whales were confirmed dead today, while the lives of 34 others hung in the balance after a mass stranding on tidal flats of New Zealand's South Island. It's two in a week. Right about the same... Well, no, that's, that's north of that, anyway. Or east. And uh, some more... Economic stuff in Europe. I got a video attached. Juneau, Alaska sees record snowfall. More snow expected. A record snowfall levels have been reported in Juneau and more snow has to arrive this morning. The National Weather Service issued a weather storm warning for Juneau and other parts of southeast Alaska until 5 a.m. today. Six to ten inches of new snow are possible for Juneau, Petersburg, and uh, Wrangell. With slightly lesser amounts in places like Hona and Angoon. Um, so it's it's coming up winter time in Alaska and they get these storms over and over and over again and uh, basically feeds into our systems down here in the continental. And that's about all they'd have new tonight. Over to the watchers. Hold on a second. Uh, here's a heads up. Deceiving customers. Artificial aspartame becomes a natural amino sweet. Uh, the Andromoto maker of aspartame turns to new malicious strategy which hopes to trick public with remaining in them and marketing it as natural. Artificial sweeter aspartame is now rebooted and called amino sweet. Over 25 years ago, aspartame was first introduced into the European food supply. Today, it is an everyday component in most diet beverages, sugar-free desserts, and chewing gums, country worldwide. But the general public is waking up to the truth about artificial sweeteners. And um, this, they tell the pilots, don't drink diet pop before you fly, because you can't think straight when you're on this. So uh, here it goes. Amino sweet is the new aspartame. Uh, we have a red tide and over 4.2 million dead fish warn Texas to stay away from the beaches. The Department of State Health Services has issued a warning to the harvesting and consumption of oysters, mussels, and clams and whelks from the Texas waters, but not a warning for the Texans to stay away from the toxic red tide. A red tide toxin in the ocean can also become aerosolized and cause choking and irritation of the throat and eyes. People with respiratory conditions such as asthma may experience more pronounced systems which usually subside when affected people leave the, uh, the area. So uh, here we go, a big red tide uh, in Texas on top of uh, the ongoing BP disaster mess that's still in the Gulf of Mexico and will be for many, many decades. Uh, we got a pair of M-class flares and eruption of filament. A pair of M-class flares took place Tuesday morning. The first one registered an M1.2, was centered around Sunspot 1348, which is located near the northwest limb 
Uh, the second event, 1243, peaked about uh, M1.9, which is located around sun spot 1346 in the southern hemisphere. Uh, solar activity has increased to moderate levels with a pair of M class flares, numerous C class flares on Tuesday. And uh, here we are gearing up for solar maximum. Hopefully next year. And Brisbane flood fears authorities to release water from dam. This is out of Australia. A massive dam in northern Australia was to begin draining this week following predictions that Brisbane, the nation's third largest city, could be flooding again if heavy rains return. The Queensland state government official says uh, Wivenhoe Dam near Brisbane would undergo 12 days of controlled release after wa the Weather Bureau published forecast showing wild storms would once again strike the region. So they're gearing up for massive flooding and they're letting the um, releasing the dams. Uh, they did that here in um, the upper Midwest with all those dams and they're still under flood threat um, up in South Dakota and letting these uh, water goes. We had some massive flooding here in Iowa down the Missouri River. And that's about all they have tonight. Over to the RSOE. Hold on, my computer's lagging. Oh, come on. There it is. Um, of course, we got the, the El Yaro uh, volcano um, gearing up and has an activity. And I, I even seen a video out by Mary Greeley saying uh, the Spanish Navy has an emergency evacuation plan by sea for the residents uh, if it comes to that. So ongoing situation for sure. And I now we'll attach some videos if I find them and stuff. Uh, got another forest fire in the state of Virginia. And uh, flooding in Vietnam. Some pretty extensive flooding in Vietnam actually. And uh, to have some rumbling with Catla, they put up uh, another update on Catla saying um, that they misread one of the earthquakes, that it wasn't 3.1, it was like 1.9. But I, I checked the Catla website a couple, three times a day, and they, they, it's definitely still having big spurts of activity right underneath uh, that big glacier where, where, the, where the volcano is, where Catla is. And that's about it. Climate change tonight. Um, now over to the nuclear stuff. I, I went to go to ENE News and uh, I could not get it downloaded. So apparently ENE News is down for me tonight. I couldn't get any stories off of that. But I'm not without my resources. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take you to EXSKF website. I'll attach links below of course. Their top story right now. Radiation in Japan. Tokyo to accept uh, Miyagi's disaster debris in addition to Awates. Governor of Tokyo is ready for more disaster radioactive debris from Tohoku after started on Iwate's debris and scolded the residents to shut up and put up. He is eager to sign the deal with uh, Mayangi Prefecture to bring on Onagawa's debris to Tokyo to crush, burn, and dump in the landfill in Tokyo Bay. The insanity continues. They are burning this debris and then burying it in a landfill in Tokyo Bay. Uh, radiation in Japan, 60,000 becquels per kilogram of cesium in riverbed soil in Fukushima. They can't stop the truth from leaking out. They got some weird Chinese desert formation, probably their Area 51 base satellite photos. Uh, why that's on the site, I have no idea. And uh, another story now they tell us cesium 137 soil disposition may be much wider than thought. Hokkaido and western Japan may have hot spots much farther than they even told us. And we got some photos coming out of Fukushima 1 nuclear power plant as the press wave allowed in on November 2nd, 2012. Uh, they've got a photo up of uh, Fukushima number 4. Uh, it is pretty massive. 
and I think I will attach this one to my channel tonight and uh, let that roll as far as my backdrop. And that is about all new I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, and I sure I have, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. And uh, enjoy what you can. Thanks, everybody.